You may be about to get on a once-in-a-lifetime journey, a year spent remote working, a luxury honeymoon in an exotic location, or maybe you've spent enough time in the air with bad airlines to know you'd like to avoid them in the future. Worry no more as these are the best airlines flying right now. Let's begin, shall we? Number 13, Air India. In November 2022, Indian conglomerate Tata Group announced that it would be merging Air India, India's flagship carrier, with Vistara, a newer airline launched in a 2015 joint venture between Tata's and Singapore Airlines. Let the latter's pedigree and placement on this list give you an idea as to Vistara's excellent, if short-lived, quality. In the months since, people have noticed a significant improvement in Air India's quality. The Vistara bump has brought value to the tickets, a notable upgrade in service quality and divine spaciousness. One user wrote, if you're over six feet tall, this is your go-to airline. All that's left is an overdue facelift to the fleet, which some inside murmurs anticipate to start this year or so. Number 12, Aina, all Nippon Airways. On wide-body jetliners that operate trans-Pacific flights out of Tokyo, ANA receives excellent marks for its above-average premium economy product, pleasant customer service, and comfortable seats. A member of Star Alliance, the largest in the world, the carrier is also known for a top-notch business class product in a staggered layout, alternating between front and rear-facing seats that affords greater privacy. Flyers also appreciate the amenities at Tokyo's Narita and Haneda airports, like well-appointed lounges and sleep rooms near boarding gates. Number 11, Copa Airlines. The flag carrier of Panama was named the world's most on-time airline in 2019, according to a report from travel intelligence firm OAG. In the years since that report, it seems little has changed. Punctual is a word used regarding COPA more often than any other, with on time a close second if you expand the parameters to phrases. Another bonus? The stopover program allows passengers to stay in Panama for between 24 hours and seven days at no additional airfare. Such a detour can be added easily at the time of booking, either on the way to your destination or back. Number 10, Etihad Airways. From its Abu Dhabi base, Etihad operates a fleet of wide-body planes to points in the US, Europe, and Asia. Even if you can't afford its fabled flying apartment, an ultra-luxe three-room suite with stratospheric airfare to match, the Gulf State Line gets high marks for its business class product, and the carrier doesn't ignore those sitting in the back either. A dedicated team of flying nannies is on hand to entertain young flyers with toys and magic tricks, while grown-ups throughout the plane dine on multi-course meals and enjoy fine wine. In its quest to offset carbon emissions, the forward-thinking airline recently announced an initiative to plant a mangrove tree for each passenger in the economy. Number 9. JAL, Japan Airlines With a long history as Japan's official flag carrier, JAL recently upgraded its fleet with large orders of the cutting-edge Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350s. Two passenger-pleasing planes with mood lighting and higher humidity, a jet lag antidote. JAL offers a traditional first in business class, and its premium economy class wins high marks for its above-average legroom and cuisine that honors both Japanese and Western tastes. Traveling with children? JAL has made that notoriously stressful situation a bit easier thanks to special menus that include cute branded bibs and bottled baby food for infants and bento-style meals with adorable animal-shaped dishes for older kids. Number 8. EVA Tied for the largest airline in Taiwan with China Airlines, EVA gets points more than anything for its impeccable service. It starts with booking your seat, Premium economy comes cheaper than at most other airlines, while EVA's business class trumps what you'll find in its competitors first. But it's really the people that make the planes shine, with flight attendants praised for their warmth and efficiency. In a world where these two qualities seem to have become mutually exclusive, the frequency of their concurrent use is not something to be discounted. Number 7. Air New Zealand with some of the longest flights in the world, the Kiwi carrier pays close attention to seat comfort. Legroom is ample on its wide-body planes, and they even offer a sky couch in several rows of coach, which can be booked by families, couples, or solo travelers who simply want extra room to stretch out. 
business travelers on a budget can opt for a seat in the expanded premium economy section, and all classes get that famed New Zealand wine. Those perks can now be appreciated on even more routes to the United States, including a recently introduced direct flight between JFK and Auckland that debuted in September. Number six, Cathay Pacific. Just how detail-oriented is Hong Kong's flag carrier? The airline actually concocted its own craft beer, a Mandarin orange-infused pale ale called Betsy, named after the carrier's first plane. That's specifically designed to taste better at 35,000 feet. That perfectionism extends to the spacious first-class suites, which feature the widest fully flatbeds in the industry, 600 thread count organic linens from Bamford, and a relaxing pillow mist. But even travelers in the economy will enjoy perks like a reimagined dinner service that emphasizes intense flavors. Think soy braised chicken with Chinese sausage, Hong Kong style beef curry, or braised pork ribs with chew house sauce. First class ups the ante with dishes like braised abalone, smoked duck, and caviar with bolinas. Number five, Virgin Atlantic. Ever since Richard Branson founded Virgin Atlantic nearly 40 years ago, the Maverick carrier has been wooing travelers with perks like in-flight manicures and cocktail lounges, along with cutting-edge seatback entertainment. Experiencers also praise its premium economy section, which has pleasing touches like hot towels and a welcome drink, and its iconic upper class that boasts fully flatbeds. The airline will be more visible in the States this year. It recently launched new direct routes between London and Austin and its close relationship with Delta gives it access to a vast network of domestic cities. Number four, Emirates. Emirates's posh perks for first and business class flyers, cocktail lounges, in-flight showers, may get all the attention, but that's only one reason it scores so high among travelers. With its fleet of Airbus A380s, Wi-Fi connectivity, and state-of-the-art seatback entertainment system with up to 5,000 channels of TV, movies, music, and news, the Dubai-based airline gets kudos for service and amenities in all classes of service. And those classes recently expanded. In 2021, the carrier debuted its long-planned premium economy cabin, with an emphasis on the premium side of that hybrid class. Think dedicated check-in areas, luxurious leather seating, sustainable blankets made from recycled plastic bottles, and linen napkins in China come meal time. Number three, Turkish Airlines. Now that it's firmly ensconced in its flashy new airport hub in Istanbul, Turkey's flagship airline has the digs to match its ambitions, to become the connecting gateway of choice for transatlantic travelers. The carrier wins kudos for its popular stopover program in the capital, where flyers can take advantage of vouchers for four or five star hotels en route to hundreds of cities in Europe and Asia. People also rave about its excellent cuisine, comfortable seats, and attentive in-flight service. After recent expansions to Newark, Dallas, Fort Worth, and Seattle, the airline announced this summer that it would soon add non-stop service to Istanbul from Detroit and Denver. Number two, Qatar Airways. Qatar has one of the industry's youngest fleets of ultra-long-haul widebodies, flying both the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the newest Airbus counterpart, the Airbus A350-1000. Both jets' composite structure allows lower cabin pressure and higher humidity, which can lessen the effects of jet lag, especially if you're connecting through Qatar's hub in Doha to points beyond. Its Q's white business class, which can be configured with double beds and four-person dining suites, has won rave reviews from flyers with pleasing touches like hot towels and a welcome drink. Number one, Singapore Airlines. Singapore is known for setting records, from holding the number one spot on our list to winning the title for the world's longest flight. A 19-hour non-stop between New York and its Changji Airport hub via its fleet of all-premium Airbus A350s. Now that service has resumed on that and other super long routes, flyers will again savor what makes this airline a perennial favorite. It's an industry leader in seat comfort, in-flight service, and reliability. It also gets praise for continually upgrading its product in all classes, including a farm-to-plane catering concept and a wellness partnership with California's Golden Door Spa that involves in-flight stretching, exercise, meditation, and sleep comfort programming. And that concludes today's video. If you enjoyed the content, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. To stay updated on future uploads, be sure to click the notification bell. 
Feel free to share this video with your friends and family. Do share your thoughts and feedback in the comment section. Looking forward to catching you again in the next video.